So I'm not a Trump guy. I never voted for him. But here's why I'm excited today. I've been watching very closely the campaign trail with Donald Trump and J.D. Vance and their attempt to break away from traditional media, TV shows, interviews on legacy media, gravitating towards new media like Joe Rogan podcast, YouTubers, Instagram, TikTok. And I'm left feeling like we may have just gotten a big win for truth and for ideas. Whenever in the history of America have we had unfettered access to three hours of a presidential elect and another three three hours of a vice presidential elect speaking off the cuff, cursing, making jokes that we could just listen to on demand. That's pretty amazing. Not to mention the fact that both RFK, Tulsi Gabbard, and Elon Musk, which you would never really call classic Republicans, who are now working together with a president who was a lifelong Democrat to try to bring peace and stability to the world alongside improving American domestic policy, foreign policy, and the health of the United States of America. Specifically on the most important topic to me, the Abraham Accords. I'm hoping and praying that Donald Trump and his administration take seriously the re-implementation of the Abraham Accords in full force. I'm choosing today to not be in fear, but to be optimistic. The world will not end. Am Israel will be alive. We will survive no matter the outcome. But I'm choosing to hope that this is the beginning of a very, very bright future. America and Israel, my homes. I love the two of you so much and I want the best for the both of you. I am so, so, so excited for the future ahead.